In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the first Sunday of the new Coptic year, and our forefathers used to celebrate the new year with a very nice tradition. They go to the River Nile and have a bath and come out from the water and dress new clothes, reminding them that we are going to have a new, ch a new year and a new life with the Lord. And then they eat the labia. The labia is some kind of the, the, the dough that they eat, and it's made of corn, of uh, wheat. And this reminds them that the source of life in Egypt is the water of the Nile and the wheat that they eat. So a new start to start with the Lord Jesus Christ who provide us with the real food that comes from heaven, the bread that comes from heaven, and the water which resembles the Holy Communion that we have here. So it's a nice tradition, and of course by time people forget it because they're very busy with work and all the official holidays and all these things. So the question today, how can we start the new year? today in the 21st century, following the tradition of the forefathers and starting a new year, a new life with the Lord Jesus Christ, or we keep on going just following the crowds uh, from day to day and uh, getting indulged in the pleasures of life. It's very good to remember that we have a new start I wish that we do it every day. So the only way to do that, to have a relationship with God, is to repent our sins and to have the Lord Jesus Christ's word in our minds and in our hearts and follow it on every day in our life. So it's very important to have a good start. And the question is, how do we really repent our sins? By confession, of course, the one, one step of that. But confession without repentance doesn't work. So some people con want to, con uh, to comfort their conscience and come to say what they have done, but they go back to the same thing over and over again. So how can we get rid of that? There are three very important factors, and they are a bundle. All the three of them together, not one of them or not two of them. There have to be three of them. The first one is determination to stop the sin. I'm determined. means that I insist on that, not, not say, I wish I would stop my sin. I have to be determined to do that. And the second thing is the struggle. To struggle against oneself and one's desire and the things pertaining to the world. And this is very important. We cannot do either of them unless we have the grace of God giving us support and blessing. No one can repent even for one day without the support of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we'll start with that. In other words, if you have the determination to stop and you struggle without this, the grace of God, it wouldn't work. If you have the determination to stop the sin, and you have the grace of God, but you don't struggle against yourself or against your desires, it won't work. If you struggle real hard and have the grace of God without determination to stop the sin, I'll come back to it. That's how Satan is very tricky and deceives us by, in all directions through, through different angles. So it's very important to remember that the three of them have to be together. Two of them don't work. One doesn't work, so they have to be three together. So if you have the determination, it will happen. If you struggle against your desire and your drives in your life, then you can do it. I'll give you an example of that. There is a gentleman in Egypt in the 50s and last century who was addicted to smoking. And every time, because of his health, tried to stop it, 
but it goes back to it. He might stop for a month, then go back to it. Two months and go back to it. Six months and go back to it. So he couldn't do it. Then he felt very sick. And he went to one doctor, one of the doctors who know God very well. He told him, are you determined to stop? I said, yes, because I'm sick. He told him, you have a packet of cigarettes in your pocket? He says, yes. At that time, he, that fellow used to have uh, uh, cigarettes imported from England. And he has bought one of these packets and it's very expensive. He told him, give it to me. So he took it out of his pocket and gave it to uh, the doctor. And he told him, I want you to just destroy these cigarettes and throw them in the toilet and flush the toilet. He says, I've just bought it. Don't well, if you are determined, you have to do it. You have to be against yourself. Once you do that, you go directly to the church, bow down and worship God in front of the altar and the sanctuary and give God a promise that you're stopping from tonight, not from tomorrow. And then when you finish that, go to the priest and confess that you have determined, you are determined to do, to stop all, altogether. And the, that fellow did it and he quit from that night. Because there is determination, there is struggle with himself because it was very expensive and he went to seek the grace of God at church. So there is nothing impossible for God, no matter how bad we are, no matter how, ma no matter how many sins we have, the Lord is opening his arms for us to forgive us our sins and to help us to stop. And then we will start a new start with a new life with him. So remember at the beginning of the year, as a matter of fact, as we know each day when you wake up in the morning, that you have a new life with the Lord Jesus Christ is going to guide you in the right direction, will help you for repentance and have a relationship with him, for him is your glory forever and ever. Amen.